<laughs> yo, yo, listen, listen. Just like I told Coco, Coco, my vision is vision. Is you already know though, know so go, go, slow, slow. Back, back my logo, logo, for show, for show. Coco, Coco, get down, no, 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 no. Yo, yo, listen, listen. Just like I told Coco, Coco. Like the way it sounds, Freddy? Uh, yeah, yeah. Just let me breathe for a minute, man. Just let me breathe. Just let me breathe for a minute, man. It's too hot, drop the top off the wagon. Uh, Lay back, back, fire like dragon. Oof. Man, I'm flying past Saturn. Out of here like I ain't that savage. No, 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 no. It's like I'm at the studio with Michael. You can hear me dancing on the beat. Bam, bam, about to put a mansion on the beach. I, hundred Latins in your lobby. That's what happens when you when you're around with body. Uh, and I put that for my mommy. I will never give my heart to a two o'clock. I just make a dance that goes with this song. Basic going dance to it. Basic everywhere going dance to it. Just let me breathe for him. For a minute. White Range Rover. Let me breathe for a minute. Just let me breathe for a minute, man. Just let me breathe for a minute. White Range Rover. Ball in it. You gotta baby shake that. Shake that. Shake that, you gotta, baby, shake that, shake that, shake that. I got two shows, I'm about to pitch another. Throwing alley you to my brothers. We all shine, nobody victims. I'm on these sweats. Different, come up short, you left your fam. I lay on beaches and swerving whips. You ain't serving, you just an urban myth. Every day, get, day, get, ride around Queens on the jet ski, it's me. No, it's me. Every day, get, day, get, day, to the day I die. Every day, get, man, I was that, and I was that, bouncing up and down. Nearly broke, nearly broke, my, just let me breathe for a minute. Just let me breathe for a minute, I. Let me breathe for a minute. White Range Rover. Let's let me breathe for a minute. White Range Rover. I got millions on my mind And you didn't fit the picture So I guess you want the vibe Hello, if you're on my right leg, that's Gucci Dig what I'm saying Hello, if you're on my man, that's Gucci Dig what I'm saying Caught a little jet lag, but I'm golden, yeah. We deserve Grammys and some Oscars, man. Uh, they deserve Grammys, they imposters I be rolling with my project homies It's a vibe, I just I gotta accept that I'm a yeah, yeah. I pull up in several different options yeah, yeah. That I have almost seven, seven, seven. I, well, I can't feel my toes, but ain't gon' fold up, fold up I was in the double law when I rolled when I rolled I've been rolling up. on the freeway I've been riding 85 I've been thinking way too much
things on my mind And you didn't fit the picture So I guess you want the vibe I've been rolling on the freeway I've been fighting 85 I've been thinking way too much And I'm way too gonna drive I got anger in my chest I got milk things on my mind I gotta accept that I'm a pull up and I pull up in several different options. Yeah, yeah. Not all, but most of them. I shattered your dreams with this cream I make. Cream I make. What? Gotta be on. Gotta be on. The think of I say. I say. What? What? I can't feel my toes, but they gon' fold up. Fold up. I was in the double law when I rolled. When I rolled. When I rolled. Yeah. yeah. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Two wide receivers will be looking to be number one targets on the field in today's game. It's Benjamin's Panthers going up against Evans's Buccaneers. And we're about five miles northwest of downtown Tampa at beautiful Raymond James Stadium near Florida's Gulf Coast. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Carolina Panthers and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. McCaffrey on the counter. And an alley to run. Fighting through it. He's got space. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Carolina. A big play there with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Panthers are going to take a first quarter lead. And this will be good to give the Panthers a 7 to nothing lead. Gano out to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24 yard line. here back at the 23 yard line it's a loss of a yard there and now second down every year i go to the combine to marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays they run like dbs and let's face it they know how to finish plays too eyes up head up run right through them so now 11 yards to go for this offensive unit it's second down Jameis to throw it. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Charles, already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and out. Looking for Evans, and it's intercepted. It's the safety, Kurt Coleman. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. 
Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. On first down, this is McCaffrey. <laughs> and he gets it down to the 32. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. Another good run there for a guy who, remember, on Wednesday was named NFC Offensive Player of the Week for what he did a week ago. Yeah, and you know it takes some solid runs and some extra special ones in order to win that type of an award. I think he's locked in and wants to get it done a second time. On second down, here's Newton. He'll drop it off to McCaffrey, and he'll go down at the 28. So just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Newton on first down. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey, and he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. They hold him to only two there on the screen. It's second down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. The tight end, Olsen, in motion. Here's Newton now on second down. And an alley to run. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. Newton looking to throw on third and one. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. And Gano's kick is right through. And that will make it 10-0 here in the first. So he splits the uprights there, and I would imagine it's nice as a kicker. Right when it leaves your foot, you know it's good. Yeah, it's kind of like a golfer that picks up his tee after a nice drive without even watching it land. Solid analogy. I like it. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. The defensive line disperses a little bit here, maybe expecting a pass. And he'll give it here to his running back. And I don't think he got there. No, they stop him right where it all started. No gain on the play there. Second down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. From the shotgun, it's Winston. There's the Penn State man. It's Chris Godwin. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 yards through the air and a first down. here on first down. He'll rifle this one deep right side. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. It's a big play there for the Buccaneers. 54 yards. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll give it to him right up the gut. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. 
Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And yeah, now they're looking for the big boys to get them in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting this. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Keith Mumphrey with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Bucs are able to make this a close game again. Oh, I was just about to say he had missed an extra point all season, but there it is. His first miss, no good. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Here's Christian McCaffrey to return it. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns but he kind of forced that one there didn't he it's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football yeah he wasn't really going through progressions he wanted to go to his top guy you do that against this defense they'll make you pay won't they yeah they certainly will they react very quickly to the thrown football back to the air newton on second down forced out to his left he's going to hit his man out of the backfield complete and he'll go out of bounds across the 35 yard line Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Now the offense lining up first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's got some space here. And running with power here. He's got a convoy, and he might be gone. Touchdown, Carolina. A great play there with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Panthers add on to their lead. And a pair of rushing touchdowns now for him in the first quarter. And I'm liking what I'm seeing from his big guys up front because they're winning the leverage game. How many times have we talk about low man wins, right? Move the defensive front aside, create those gaps and holes. He's found his way through them for two touchdowns. And after both of those touchdowns, he went right up to that O-line and hit each of them on the helmet. That's he a, recognizes That's that. a smart man. You know what else he should do? If this continues, take them all to dinner. Gano out to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Snags it for the pick. And he'll take this across midfield and inside the 45. And he may want to track down that football because that's interception number one on his career. You're saying that's going into the trophy case? I'd put it there. Yeah, no doubt about it. That's when you ask the equipment guys to make sure they hold it for you after the game. But if you play in the back seven on defense, that's part of your job, finding ways to take the ball away from the other team. And he goes in motion here in the backfield. Now following the interception, here's Newton. Caught left side by Funches. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground.
To throw on second down is Newton. Looking for Benjamin, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Levante David. And now off to the races, down the right side. And it's a pick six. He brings it back to the house for a Buccaneer TD. Meanwhile, down in Dallas, an update from there. And the Redskins there out to an early lead. We'll keep you updated on that one as it progresses. Here's Winston. And this is going to be caught. And how about that? Even after snapping it from back there, they still convert for the two points. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. And following the pick six, and they've decent field position and throwing that pick six we'll see how they attack this drive and I think all you say to your guy is listen let's just take care of the football a little bit better make some better decisions on this drive and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in but they told him they told us they've got confidence that, that's not a problem yeah not a problem at all they just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down They go play action here on first down. Steps away. Cam fighting. He lost the football. It's out. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. And they'll start this drive with very good field position. Now a handoff here to his running back. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Play action now. Winston. throw here is incomplete. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let, let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. So still a full 10 yards to go here for the offense on third down. From the gun, Winston. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And incomplete. He can't hang on. Would have been a... and you've had that kind of lack of success. Yeah, absolutely. Very well. Could have been a third interception in half number one. They're going to try for it on fourth. Winston stays out there. To throw is Winston. And oh, Jameis intercepted a third time. It's the Pro Bowl Kinkley that picks it, and they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. Offensively, when you see cover two, the thought has to go through the quarterback's head, drive the football when making throws. It's not just the deep guys covering. It's the guys underneath you have to be careful of. Drive your throw. Otherwise, you see what results? Interceptions. On first and 10, Newton flushed out right. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. To throw on second down. Newton. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Cody Ely in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. Yeah. 
Cam's going to run the option right. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Here's the Panthers punter now, as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. following a punt of 44 and the Bucs will get ready to go on offense now the Buccaneers offensive unit back out on the field and three interceptions in this game and I would have to think I was a quarterback the number four is kind of oh you're like oh man I can't throw four no what's interesting is and a loose football wow that ball gets knocked free but a teammate comes along and scoops it up Almost like it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up and avoids the turnover. Now a handoff, looking right, and he's got this one just across midfield to the 49. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. Third and short yardage, Winston. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by James Bradbury. Accelerating and off he goes. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. That was an interception, but on the field, the guys who are picking it off, they're not saying that. What word are they using? It's Oski. And that means catch the ball and go the other way. That's your vernacular. I've never heard anybody say Oski. Ask around. They'll tell you. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. Now the Buccaneer offense set to take over again. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And, tip and now here is another interception. Picked up by James Bradbury. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. Now, that was a beautiful play. A pick six. How would you punctuate something like that, partner? What, you mean with an exclamation mark? Exclamation mark, a big word. What would you do with the ampersand? I like it. Oh, I was just about to say he had missed an extra point all season, but there it is. His first miss, no good. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Now the Buccaneer offense gets set to take over. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. They go play action. Winston. It's 
It's caught by Mike Evans. And he's brought down after a good game. 23 yards on the play. And that's the first connection, the number one overall pick in 2015, finding the number seven pick in 2014 in Evans. And what a great target Mike Evans is for Jameis Winston. Winston's a pretty accurate thrower, but that catch radius that Evans provides, that makes him that much more dangerous. Play fake, Winston. Now he'll let it go deep right side. He's got it at the 15. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. A big play there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Bucs are able to cut into that deficit. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. This fielded at the two. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field, and they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked so Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. And he slides to avoid the hit. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. So an instance there of Cam being Cam. We know he can use his legs. And with that big body, it's hard to get him down, even if you get a clear shot on him. Plus, he moves it a lot faster than what people think. And boy, does he have fun playing the game of football. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. Have to give a lot of credit to the defense on that play. They were prepared. Ordinarily, when they take the big shot downfield to the big guy, that's usually a mismatch that the offense is used to winning. But the preparation showed for the defense, and they were able to bat it away. Second and ten, Newton again. Oh, the ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Run it well, and it's picked. A minute 58 to go in this first half of play. We'll come back to Tampa after this timeout. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. Now they try the right side here. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Keith Mumphrey with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Bucs have made this a one-score game. And oh, can you believe it? He misses another one, his third so far. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. And onto the field, here come the Panthers. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Benjamin with it over the middle. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. Newton going to hand it off to McCaffrey. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Yeah, 
Looking to throw on second down. Newton steps away to his left. Now he'll turn and throw deep back to the other side of the field. And both guys were there, but it falls incomplete. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, help force the incompletion. Yeah, but had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. Incomplete pass on second down. Let's see what the offense draws up here on third. Out of the gun, Newton. And look at this. Cam Newton intercepted a third time. Picked off by Justin Evans. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. If you combine last week and this week, he's got a hat trick going because he had two interceptions a week ago. He's seeing the ball so well and understanding where receivers are and positioning. I mean, just watching him work with such great technique and paying it off by actually catching the ball when he has a chance, he's helping his team in a huge way. Winston now. And nearly another interception. They've been around the ball all game. Trying to decipher what's going on out there because I don't know if he's just getting bad reads. I don't know if the defense is confusing him. I don't know if he just has, you know, bad info and intel before he snaps the ball. But he's made some pretty bad decisions with the football lately. Yeah, several bad decisions on the interceptions he's thrown. And frankly, that should have been another pick right there. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give him another shot here in the first half. If you don't pick up the first down, guess what? This is caught inside the 15. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Keith Mumphrey on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Bucs are going to retake the lead. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now McManus for the extra point. Can you believe it? He misses another one, his third so far. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. <laughs> Spins by. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys. You had your fun? All right. Yeah, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards, and it'll be second and very short. Now, that was an excellent run, and when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job, and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block, but the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes, so when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. The Panthers on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. Here it's third and two. Newton now to throw. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Good contain. No gain on the screen, and it'll bring up fourth down. I know you've got a baseball background, right? A little bit. Yeah. Started minor league yeah, ball. Yeah, you did some of that, right? What do they do when they do the signals? An indicator, right? It Tells starts... you whether it goes or not, yeah. Yeah, whether the play's on or not. How about the indicators offensive linemen give when they're getting ready to run a screen pass? And if those get red, <laughs> well, we just saw that there, didn't we? No gain. No gain. Deciphered it and finished the play off.
This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. Now the Buccaneers offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. And that is incomplete. All right, folks eager to get back to this week four matchup. We won't put up a fight. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This will be taken about the 12. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Out come the Buccaneers. They'll have it first to start in the third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. A handoff as they run the counter play. Space to maneuver at the 40. And now look at him go. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Keith Mumphrey, 75 yards. And the Buccaneers here finding a way to stretch their lead. And that rushing touchdown, his fourth, puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it. But he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken at his four. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Panthers' offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned, because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. <laughs> try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. And the offense behind the chains here, a touch on second and 11. They'll run it now out of the gun. They find some open field here. They get nine yards back on the run there, and they're left with a much more makeable third and two. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Just a gain of a couple, but good enough to keep the drive rolling. Third and two, right? So this is a situation where low man has got to win at the line of scrimmage. But it's not just the low man winning. It's the low man who's winning with some force. And they had that to pick up the first down. Barely picking it up, but they did. On first down, it's Newton. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. Give him six on the play, and it'll bring up a second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. <laughs> on second down, here's Newton. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Coney Ely. In there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. So now Cam leads the Panthers up following the sack. Carolina facing third and long. 
Halfback sent in motion. Third and long, it's Newton. And he finds a man, it's McCaffrey. And he's taken down, but not before he gets us into enemy territory across the 40. That one, 28 yards on the ground. On first down, Newton being chased out left. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. The intended target that time was Jonathan Stewart, and that'll bring up second down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Second and ten, Newton going for the deep ball. And he's unable to grab it. Thought he might have had position, couldn't hold on, third down. A lot of contact there, but there was no way it appeared that he was going to get a flag on that one. Looking for it, but he wasn't going to get it. And as an ex-defensive back, you love it when they let you play and jostle downfield. Now they go screen, it's complete. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Only two on the screen pass there, and it'll be fourth down. They dialed up the screen pass on third down, and for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together, and they had a chance to pick up a first down, but the defense got there and finished it off. And Godot's kick is right through. And the drive will wind up yielding three. A decent drive there to start the third quarter. They only salvaged three out of it, but they do inch a bit closer. Yeah, still lots of time to go in this one. Take the points, move on, and let your defense try to get the ball back. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Yeah, let me puff out my chest a little bit, even though I'm not rooting for either team. That was a really nice defensive play. It's awfully fun to watch, even in an offensive game. Now a handoff looking right. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. Seven yards on the carry. Make it third and four coming up. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. The Bucks on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and four. Sims. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. Calling no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. And when you're running the football, one thing you don't want to see is a big boy coming up there to swallow you whole in those D tackles and nose tackles. No, you're actually counting on your big boys to protect you from them. But on that play, the defensive tackle had the leverage, and he won the battle. No gain, correct? No gain. 47-yard punt, a return of four. And the Panthers will get it here as they take possession. ground it's Michael and he'll fight forward to about the 27 yard line three yards on the pickup there and it'll be second down not much happening there on first down I thought there might have been a hole for a split second yeah but it dried up pretty quickly didn't it closed fast Another run, this time McCaffrey. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He lost two there, and it's third down. The Panthers on third down, lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This is third and nine. And the back goes into motion. Throwing on third down, Newton. Over the middle, that's 
it's complete to McCaffrey. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. They go play action with Stewart. Now Newton sliding out of the pocket. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play. And guess what? They took a shot. How are you going to win it? And in this case, they managed to get it done. Throwing again on second and ten. Newton taking a shot for Samuel. And both guys were there, but it falls incomplete. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. To throw on third down. Newton, they'll set up the screen for Stewart. And he's going to be stopped dead in his tracks. The screen good for six, but it's not enough as it leads to a fourth down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. NFL teams last year, a little under 50% on fourth down conversions. This is a bit tougher. Fourth and four. They snap it to Newton. Flush to his right. That's to his running back, complete. The ball's out, McCaffrey lost it, and it's picked up by the Buccaneers. Well, we knew he was close to the line of scrimmage, and they say he stepped over. Well, when you see him in that position, you think he's become a runner. As a DB, you start to react towards the line of scrimmage, they can often throw it over your head. Try the right side here. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Only a yard on the game there as time will run out on this third quarter of play. Back now in Tampa. It's the Bucks. They've got the football. They also are in front here on the scoreboard as we start the fourth. See if they stay on the ground for second down. A handoff as they run the counter play. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be third and ten. Winston now from the 50. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And he pulls it in for the Buccaneer touchdown. A big play there with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the fumble recovery leads to six points for the Buccaneers. From the shotgun, it's Winston. And he is going to go down back at the 11-yard line. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is fielded at the goal line. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. And the Panthers coming out now. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. 
I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. You like that, don't you? All game long, they've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah, yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Second down and a little ways to go here. Second and 13. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game, but what a nice play by the defense. Stepping up on that one, maybe they'll get things going in their direction after a play like that. The Panthers on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. This is third and 14. Here's Newton. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And he gets it to Funches complete. And he takes it all the way down to the 32. An unbelievable play there on fourth and long. 47 yards. Newton on first down. He'll drop it off to McCaffrey. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. It'll be a gain of nine, and it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. On second down, McCaffrey. And a short gain here down to the 22. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. The offense on third down tonight, they're hitting at just 30%, 3 for 10. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And the penetration too strong. He won't make it back to the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of one, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Throwing is Newton. Dancing to his left. And he'll slide down to avoid the tackle. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. They'll try the air now with Newton. And the Panthers in for the score. Gano now to add the extra point. And it's no good. It has not been his day. That's the second extra point he's missed so far. Gano out to kick this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. And the Buccaneers getting ready to go as they take the field.
And he'll give it here to his running back. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Give him three yards on the run there. That still leaves him with a difficult third and eight coming up. And it looks like this will be the last play before the two-minute warning. On third down, Winston. He'll rifle this one deep right side. This is caught inside the 15. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. A big play there. His third touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Bucs are going to add on to their lead. So they're going to go for two. Here's Winston. And he fires one incomplete. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending it? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You, you establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage, put your heels on the goal line at worst, and if they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. They go play action here on first down. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Vernon Hargraves with a pick, and they will take over at the 29-yard line. Just a little bit of a rough stretch. Six interceptions now in these last two weeks combined. I know the easy thing is to go back to mechanics, footwork, things of that nature. I'm also wondering... Is he getting fooled by what he's seeing on defense? Has the scouting report changed? Are they showing him things different than what he expected? For the second week in a row, he's throwing it to the guys in the wrong color shirts. Yeah, he better figure, whatever the reason is, he better figure it out. Winston here to throw. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. My high school coach, John Ford, used to say all the time, if you're in a bad situation, laddie, don't compound it with a bad decision as well. And I think that's what we just saw there. Harassed in the pocket, and he throws into double coverage anyway. He called you laddie? He called me laddie, and that was the nicest thing he called me. Jameis to throw it. He'll right and intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked by Darrell Worley. And he will bring it out past the 20-yard line. What a nightmarish game he's having now. Six interceptions that he has thrown. Absolutely unbelievable, isn't it? Hard to believe we're watching this and have seen it. But it just tells you about the game of football. It give it and it take it away. Yeah, the guys, though, that have thrown six interceptions in a game, the likes of Peyton Manning, Brett Favre, I think Joe Namath, he did it three times. Now following the interception, here's Newton. And this is caught. It's Greg Olson. He's at the 30, 20. And they do finally get him at the 12. A big play there on the catch and run. 67 yards. Yeah. 
Now a first down throw for Newton. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Now the Panthers are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. A little bit of ground to make up for the offense as they face a second and 11. From the gun, here's Newton. Buying time to us, and this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. The Panthers on third down. They've had a lot of chances, but not much success, converting only three times. This will be third and 15. Out of the gun, Newton. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. you got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, you get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. They've gone to the fourth quarter now in Dallas. And it was the Redskins that came away victorious there. If they hold on, a victory there would be their third of the year. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. Shift together here from the D-line. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you still think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Buccaneers, that early momentum continues here as they move to 4-0. And they'll get to stay home again next week as the Pittsburgh Steelers come to town. Meanwhile, for the Panthers, they'll fall back to 500 at 2-2. Two and two. And they'll be back home next week for a date with the Washington Redskins. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gaunt. Big for the boot. I got the big size holes in my feet. 
Your face ain't big for my boots. Kick up the you. Man, know that I kick up the you. Then why they try to stop the truth? How dare you to stop the truth? No, you're getting way too big for your boots. You're never too big for the boot. I got the big size toes on my feet. Your face ain't big for my boots. Kick up the you. Man, know that I kick up the you. Then why they try to stop the truth? How dare you to stop the truth? Wanna come round there like a bad boy, do it. Run all the talking, go on and do it. Running through the party, but look, but look. Bows in my ear, saying storms don't do it. Double on my shoulder, I don't lack. Hit him with a business, I don't scrap. Even when I'm far, I'm so used to ride, but there's no car and no match. What you talking about? Clown, stand down. Never had a thing, never had a pound. You were never bad then, you ain't bad now. Never had them, had them then. Look, look back down. Wait, I saw bare kicks, saw bare clothes. Said not that, I can't wear those. I don't like them, they're not my thing. They went silent, they're all weirdos. Like, yeah, storms don't clear. Never had a Tom Ford or a Montclair. Man, them a car, but you see my Don Dare. Tell them don't do it, don't dare. Don't care who you know from my block. You're not alcohol. You're a boy by yourself, go and group up. And when crap went states for the BT.